Imagine if you could light a light bulb with a pencil. Today I'd like to share with you a material that's inside of a pencil that can do just that. I'm talking about graphene. Hi, my name is Anissa Ramirez. Welcome to my lab at Yale University. I'd like to share with you a Nobel Prize winning material that's found in a pencil that's going to revolutionize our lives. But first, what makes up a pencil? Well, there's the eraser, there's the wood. The part that I'm talking about is the part that you write with, which is graphite. Now, many people think it's made out of lead, but it's not lead at all. It's all carbon. Now, carbon is an old friend. You and I are made out of carbon. Carbon comes in many different forms or allotropes, each with different properties. There's diamond, which is one of the hardest materials that we know, and there's graphite, which is one of the softest. Both are made out of carbon. The difference is the way that carbon atoms bond in each one of these materials. In diamond, carbon atoms bond like this. Each carbon has four very strong bonds. In graphite, carbon atoms bond like this. Each atom has three very strong bonds within a layer and then a weak bond between layers. Here lies a secret for that material that's going to help revolutionize our world. But first, let's talk about a few other forms of carbon. A few years ago, scientists found balls of carbon, or buckyballs. They also found tubes of carbon, or nanotubes. The ways that carbon bonds seems exhausting. But there's one more, and that's graphene, which looks like this. Now, in order to understand graphene, we have to go back to our old friend, graphite. Graphene is one layer of graphite. It's one atom thick. Now, how do you make graphene? What we can do is we can break this bond here. And we do that in pencils all the time. When we write with a pencil, we break this very weak bond and leave layers of carbon. Well, the Nobel laureates that found graphene did just that. Only they got a piece of graphite and they applied a piece of tape to it. And they did this numerous times until they got to a very thin piece of eventually graphene. And then they tested the electrical properties of the graphene, and they found that electricity passes through the graphene really fast, much faster than regular graphite. It's the one layer of atoms that allow electrons to move through this material super, super fast. Super fast electrons mean super fast computers. Let's look at carbon in action. Here I have a circuit where we're able to light up a light by using graphite, just from a regular mechanical pencil. Let's try this together. Wow, that's pretty neat. Let's try something else. Let's just draw a line with the pencil and see if we can get the light bulb to light too. Let's try it again. That's pretty cool. And scientists think that graphene is pretty cool too. Because electricity moves through it so quickly, we'll be able to make computers with it that are very fast. Computers will be 100 times faster. Scientists are also interested in graphene because it's super strong. If you were to have an elephant balanced on a pencil, you would not be able to break a layer of graphene that's the thickness of saran wrap. That's really strong. That's going to change the way we make everything. So you see, the material that's at the tip of a pencil is about to revolutionize our lives. We're at a tipping point. Our old friend Carbon has a few new tricks up its sleeve and will change our lives in ways that we can't even predict. I'm Anissa Ramirez. Thank you for joining me in my lab at Yale University. And I hope that you'll join us for another Material Marvel.